can you recognize this as being spleen? Perhaps you can, because you can see that there is a large blood vessel running within this fibrous trabeculae, and you know it's a blood vessel because you see smooth muscle and a lot of blood on the inside, red cells here, white cells here, surrounded generally by lymphoid tissue, but also having the sinusoids so uh, classical for uh, the spleen. So this would be the white pulp and this would be the red pulp. But in addition, uh, what is wrong with this spleen? Well, if you've looked at a lot of spleens, the first thing you'll notice is that all of these cells here, all these pink cells with abundant fuzzy cytoplasm, you normally shouldn't see in the spleen. Sure, occasionally you could see some plump macrophages chewing up all the things they're supposed to chew up, but this spleen is enlarged chiefly due to the presence of these foamy uh, histiocytes or macrophages being all over the place. These are classical Gaucher's cells. This is Gaucher's disease. Gaucher's disease is a classical genetic disease due to problems or defects uh, in the ability of the body to make an enzyme called glucocerebrosidase. And as a result, because this enzyme is absent, missing, defective, the substance glucocerebroside builds up and it builds up to the point that there's just too much of it and these foamy histiocytes then start to eat it, to store it. So this is a uh, genetic disease, it's not too common and basically every organ in the body uh, can you see Gaucher cells, or at least many. The spleen is the most likely, but they're also in the liver, they're in the kidney, they're in the lungs, they're all over the bone marrow. They're any place where there's a lot of uh, macrophages. So whenever you see these uh, foamy, fuzzy pink cells uh, all over the place where they shouldn't be, think that they might have some be loaded with glucocerebrosides because uh, of the deficiency of the enzyme glucocerebrosidase. <laughs> and you can call this Gaucher's disease. And thank you very much.